Hello, this is Eric from the Stratford Public Library Makerspace. Today we're going to make some collages. Collages are an assemblage of uh, photos, uh, maybe clippings from a newspaper, and maybe you can use some old magazines. Uh, but before I go and show you what we want to create today, I'm going to show you a few books that have collages as the illustrations. Here's a few of my favorites. This is one of my favorite collage books. The story was adapted by Lauren Child, and the illustrations were captured by Polly Borland. So Polly Borland is a photo photographer, and um, Lauren Child creates uh, all of these scenes with 3D images um, as well as 2D images. So she'll do her normal book illustrations, cut them out, uh, these are dollhouse fixtures, and over on this page here you can see all of this is done with sticks and other pieces, and they're all layered on one on top of the other. This is The Wolves in the Walls by Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean. It's another, this is a form of uh, digital collage, and within the collage it's almost in the style of a zine, uh, the way that they use the text and different images. Um, just a really cool box. This is a collage by my friend Carolyn Smith. She's a theatrical set and costume designer. She likes to do all of her costume designs in collage form. This is another costume drawing by Carolyn Smith. Uh, as you can see, she's cut out um, all of these pieces from probably books with reference material or different pieces of fabric. Um, she collects huge research files, like huge, huge research files. And also all these parts, that, pieces that she can assemble together, and she just uses little pieces of scotch tape to put it all together. Okay, I'm just going to do a collage. Uh, I found this picture of a Zeppelin. I'm just going to quickly cut it out. And I could take that picture of the Zeppelin and I could put it coming out of this barn. And all of the people are checking out what's happening coming out of the barn. And I could add some titles on it. Uh, maybe right on top of it, Barn Smasher. You could also add uh, small animals or people or put a car in here or anything else you'd like. Maybe a little robot. Um, I found Dave Davies. He's already a collage. You cut him out a little bit neater. You can see how his head's already been glued on in the marketplace. So like in The Princess and the Pea where we had uh, layers of 3D objects and 2D objects, we could always go through and I could add that Zeppelin just right into there and I hang it from a string. And I added this building over here and you could kind of make your own little diorama in a box with uh, objects and then take some pictures of it. Use it for your own book illustrations. So, zines are a really great way to tell somebody about something that you're really passionate about or something that you want to uh, explain to somebody how to do. They're a self-published uh, magazine. Uh, sometimes they're just photocopied. Other times you can do them digital, uh, however you want. Uh, this was the Makerspace zine I kind of put together earlier. And uh, this is a zine from Look Mum No Computer. If you guys decide to make a zine, pick whatever topic you'd like found a whole bunch of uh, letters in the marketplace, or you can use magazines, whatever you've got. Um, and I like to use a glue stick to glue all my pieces on. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, while the Makerspace and the Stratford Public Library remain closed, we're going to continue to do more videos like this. Uh, so keep an eye out for them. If you've created a collage today, uh, share it with your friends and family. Share it on social media. We'd love to see what you've created. If you've created a collage that has depth to it, I'd love to see a photo of that. Maybe shine a light down into the top of it so everything gets a little bit of a shadow. That'd be really awesome. If you've created a zine, share it with somebody who will really appreciate the work that you've put into it. Um, as another idea, take what we've shown you here today and you can re-illustrate your favorite book print the words out on the computer and you can put them, paste them right on the page and you can create your own version of that book. Um, or if you've written your own story, you can do the exact same thing and 
create your own illustrations. Uh, and you don't have to be the best uh, at drawing in the entire world. You can use the photos and you can connect the lines with uh, pencil crayons and pen, uh, pens, markers, whatever you have around. Thank you so much for joining us again and uh, we'll see you next time.